waves of death rose about me. The pains of the netherworld surrounded me. In my anguish, I called to the Lord, and from his holy temple, he heard my voice. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. This morning's Mass is offered for the repose of the soul of Robert Benedetti and William Pratka. The Lord be with you and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us as just and merciful judge. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May the working of your mercy, O Lord, we pray, direct our hearts aright, for without your grace we cannot find favor in your sight. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. I knew their plot because the Lord informed me. At that time, you, O Lord, showed me their doings. Yet I, like a trusting lamb led to the slaughter, had not realized that they were hatching plots against me. Let us destroy the tree in its vigor. Let us cut him off from the land of the living so that his name will be spoken no more. But you, O Lord of hosts, O oh, just judge, searcher of mind and heart, let me witness the vengeance you take on them, for to you I have entrusted my cause. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O oh, Lord, my God, in you I take refuge. O oh, Lord, my God, in you I take refuge. O Lord, my God, and you I take refuge. Save me from all my pursuers and rescue me, lest I become like the lion's prey, to be torn to pieces with no one to rescue me. O Lord, my God, and you I take refuge. Do me justice, O Lord, because I am just and because the innocence that is mine. Let the malice of the wicked come to an end but sustain the just, O searcher of heart and soul, O just God. To you, my God, in you I take refuge. A shield before me is God, who saves the upright of heart. A just judge is God, a God who punishes day by day. O Lord, my God, in you I take refuge. And praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed are they. your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. 
Some in the crowd who heard these words of Jesus said, this is truly the prophet. Others said, this is the Christ. But others said, the Christ will not come from Galilee, will he? Does not scripture say that the Christ will be of David's family and come from Bethlehem, the village where David lived? So a division occurred in the crowd because of him. Some of them even wanted to arrest him, but no one laid hands on him. So the guards went to the chief priests and Pharisees who asked them, why did you not bring him? The guards answered, never before has anyone spoken like this man. So the Pharisees answered them, have you also been deceived? Have any of the authorities or the Pharisees believed in him? But this crowd which does not know the law is accursed. Nicodemus, one of their members who had come to him earlier, said to them, does our law condemn a man before it first hears him and finds out what he is doing? They answered and said to him, you are not from Galilee also, are you? Look and see that no prophet arises from Galilee. Then each went to his own house. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the midst of the interaction between the guards, the crowd, the Pharisees, we have this image of what does it mean to be a steward? What does it mean to be given a task to rule, to serve, to work as a parent, maybe as someone older, an elder, that wisdom that you have, and someone younger seeking to grow to know and to love and serve God. And we see what happens when the guards come to Jesus and they meet this man and they hear his words and they're touched and they go away changed. And then we see that interaction with the Pharisees where they proceed to explain to the guards and to us, the audience, that they know the law of God better than anyone else, that they have taken their stewardship and turned themselves into a master of the law. And I wish to read to you from Psalm 8 that I was reading this morning, speaking about man. What is man that you should keep him in mind, mortal man that you care for him? Yet you have made him little less than a god. With glory and honor you crowned him gave him power over the works of your hand, put all things under his feet. That image of stewardship that each one of us has in our relationship with God, with our neighbor, if we're someone that governs, realizing that I govern as an instrument of God, as those who are governed, when we receive gifts or things, for example, the check that's supposed to be in the mail. One temptation is to say, well, it was my money to begin with. Another is to say, government is God. In the midst of this struggle, this difficulty, the government has saved me. And yet, what do we believe? That God permits the good and the bad, the holy and the evil, and that God allows each one of us to be his instrument. Either he permits something or he ordains and desires something. And so in the midst of what we're dealing with as a family, as a nation, and in the world, we must not fall into the trap that the Pharisees fell in and the sense of themselves deciding what the law said as opposed to being stewards of the law, of seeking the Messiah, do we seek the Messiah or do we place ourselves as the master of all around us?
Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation. With your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, we pray, with these oblations you receive from our hands, and even when our wills are defiant, constrain them mercifully to turn towards you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for by your gracious gift each year your faithful await the sacred Paschal Feast with the joy of minds made pure, so that more eagerly intent on prayer and on the works of charity, in participating in the mysteries by which they have been reborn, they may be led to the fullness of grace that you bestow on your sons and daughters. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabbat, Plenis Uncheli et Eman Gloria Tua, Hosanna in Excelsis, Benedictus. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Story of faith. Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, who may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Brennan, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. And thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. By 
the precious blood of Christ, the blood of a spotless and unblemished Lamb. We have been redeemed. Prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May your holy gifts purify us, O Lord, we pray, and by their working render us fully pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. Look upon your people, O Lord, and as they draw near to the coming festivities, bestow upon them abundance of heavenly grace that help by the consolation of this world, they may be impelled more readily towards higher goods that cannot be seen. Through Christ our Lord, amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Oh, Jesus, we are